perspective on the game that usually, like you said, ends up uh, getting really into the player's mindset. It's really good at conditioning and figuring out exactly what you're going to do. Uh, going up against Zex, this is somebody he's known for a long time. I think mentally, it's a pretty even game here. A good monkey flip catching that shield option. Oh, there is no second jump left over on GP right now. That tech was so necessary. Yeah, right now Zek just laying on that pressure, making sure that GP doesn't have space to pluck banana. Yeah. And that's the best thing to do against Diddy Kong. Do not let him get banana in hand. And if he does, you want to be prepared to catch that banana yourself. Yeah. The, the way I think of it is while... For most characters, you reset to neutral just by touching ground near center stage. He can actually shield again. Against Diddy, you only reset to neutral once he actually loses the banana. Yeah. Otherwise, he is at an advantage. Bouncing fish. No. Great DI from GP Soul. Great pivot grab by GP2 and a great stall for the air dodge. Right now, he's really showing that he's still capable of being in Zex's head even after the game transition. Still pretty close game we're seeing so far. Zex completely misses that nair. It's pretty unfortunate because he would have gotten an opportunity for a follow-up, especially with that platform right there. Oh, yeah. Zex is within kill percent now. Strange I'm banana placement. Oh, great oh patience right there. Oh, my God. Had to let the silence fall as GP decided exactly what he was going to do. That reaction was immaculate. This is this is actually a really dominating performance by GP. I'm s okay, I was afraid I commentator cursed him. Nah, he's still living. Okay, okay, he's actually touching the rap. Um, but especially considering the amount of trouble I've seen like legit have against Sex, um, I'm really impressed with how well GP is holding up. I mean, this guy has been playing Wario for many, many years, even in this game. And as a Wario player in Smash 4 especially, you have to be very reactive, but you have to have those strong reaction times, know exactly when and where to go in for your punish. That was a great bouncing fish, though. Yeah. Catching I, the banana toss, sorry. I think what's uh, really giving GP a leg up here is that with his experience playing a completely different style of character, a lot of Diddy's get too ahead of themselves. And GP is being completely patient about when and where to go into the attack. Yeah, that, that is a very Wario-esque thing to do. Uh, Ordinarily, he doesn't really ever have to commit. It's just like against Disjoint that forces his hand to be a little bit uh, unsafe. Ooh, the banana slip gives GP a great opportunity for a punish. He goes for the up smash follow-up. He is making sure that GP gets every little bit of damage that he can get out of a situation. Yeah, he's really punishing. Uh-oh. Oh, man, no, he's still living. Yeah, you should be able to make it back pretty easily there. But yeah. going for the monkey flip off stage was very risky. And there we go. Pre-patch, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Pre-patch. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong taking another victory as GP Soul showing that uh, in the few months that he's been practicing and training up this character, he is very ready. Yeah, I'm I am actually really – I don't know what I'm more scared of now is Diddy or his Wario because that's looking really solid. And right now, Zex is actually considering a counter pick, it looks like. Ordinar possible. Ordinarily, he seems very confident in the Sheik. Did he match if he's going Mario? So I know this matchup is like slightly in Mario's favor, yeah. but it's like only slightly. Uh, from what I understand, I think uh, Diddy hates fighting Sheik a little bit more than dealing with Mario. So as it comes for uh, training with GP, he doesn't have a lot of experience against Mario's that are of the level of Zex. But he does have a lot of experience playing the character, but he just completely SDs. He's just, he's just channeling his inner legit. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. The comeback's coming. Really cannot afford to, to throw away a game at this point. This is still best two out of three. Unless GP plays amazing right now, it's up getting a reverse two stop. Oh, he just had a, a range to punish the attack, get up. And right now, Zex building up so much of a lead with that combo, 58%. Holding out that Nair, getting into position for that jab. Zex is making sure that he spaces everything just right. He doesn't want to give away an opportunity like this. Oh, he actually successfully beat out the air dodge, just slightly to space the fair. Yeah, I think in order to get the bait, he needed to drift back, but it would have to be very, very precise drifting for him to make it back to where he needed to be. 
up smash, not taking it, but very close. Terrifying to GP Solo, it must be. The banana actually gets consumed by the balloon right there, very unfortunate. Right, good damage for GP. Ooh, smash attack does not end up connecting through. That back throw will do it. Zex gets a very easy game two victory. Now I wonder, actually yeah, I've heard Mario is a real nightmare for, for Wario, so I think we'll see GP stick around with Diddy. Yeah. Um, and really like the main thing that cost him there was the SD, but that being said, like he wasn't able to take Zex's first stock, which is generally a sign that like it was gonna be a really hard match regardless. Yeah. But okay. Game three, this is where everything changes. I mean, you're playing against, if you have two players in front of you that both are very good at adapting to what's going on. GP, though, deals with momentum very well. Uh, he knows exactly what to do in those situations, and he just calculates exactly what's going on rather than getting frustrated and caught up in the wave. He's trying to get the banana out, but so far he has been getting punished heavily every time he's been using these side Bs. GP not focusing on just using his banana list play. Going for some reads there. Yeah, just trying to stay unpredictable as well, too. Mixing in a little bit of everything. All right, lots of aerials putting pressure on Zex right now. Catching all of these air dodges. GP does not end up getting punished as Zex recovers high. No time to react. I like that mix-up where he ran past it and then immediately monkey flipped man grab. Banana pressure in this corner. Smart to use the command grab there, knowing that Zex is going to stay in shield or pick up the banana. Oh, there we go. Great pickup off the banana toss. And GP comes out of nowhere, very far behind in that match. Brings it back together. Zex had a pretty strong lead. He unleashes the up smash, but it's not enough. Yeah, the lack of rage really hurting him right now. But with that extra 20%, he's going to be able to kill again. GP makes it back on stage. No problem at this point. Banana in the corner. It's very dangerous. Back throw takes the stock. And uh, Zex, you know, he's, he's still in this game. Uh, he really has to make sure, though, that he can not let GP get that banana because that has been what's been really holding him back. Yeah, right now, Zex riding a lot of momentum just off of that one air dodge read. Oh, so much coverage coming out of Zex right now. GP Soul using the monkey flip, purposefully using his second jump to, uh, you know, bait Zex into that direction so he can get away safely. No, not again. Oh my gosh, that was so close. That fireball almost gimped him. And GP makes it back so narrowly. Wow. 30% difference between these two right now. But GP has the banana. He can easily catch up in percent. Nice up tilt right there. He's going to the air because that's where he's been winning. He's getting a lot of strong aerials. Right, uh, Diddy's fair having so much more range than Mario's air uh, air moves, being able to set up good trades. Oh my gosh, did he do it? And he the did it. monkey kick takes it. The up that, smash did not come out. That was so dangerous. Oh my god. Everything was on the line there, and GP ended up taking it because of a well-timed monkey flip. Unfortunately for Zex, his up smash didn't come out in time. And, and like he was charging it a bit too, I think. Yeah. Like I think he just wasn't expecting GP to play like that recklessly at that moment.